I'm gonna show you how to build an exercise device to help you strengthen your wrists. You'll be able to improve your control of wrist rotation and it's not gonna require any technical skill to make this device. It's not even gonna cost you any more than $30 with parts from your local hardware store and will only take you about one or two minutes to build once you get everything home. Now, the best part is it's highly effective and it looks like a stick grenade from World War I. Let's talk about why you would want to train wrist rotation. Now in our daily lives, we're normally just locked into our keyboards, on our phones, or on the computer, and our forearm muscles just atrophy. Our wrist muscles atrophy. Our wrists can start clicking and popping and feeling unstable. Our hands can start to hurt forearms, elbows will start to get uncomfortable. So the muscles in the forearm actually wrap and help control that rotational motion. If you're never using resistance to that motion, it's very difficult to feel like those muscles are getting enough exercise. And that's where something like the stick grenade comes in. This helps you get resistance to wrist rotation. By creating this lever here, we now have this weight way out here that's trying to force my wrist to, to allow that rotation. But if I fight it, then I'm using the muscles along my forearm and up into my elbow that help fight and control and stabilize everything from my forearm down into my hand. Everything you need for the stick grenade should be available at your local hardware store near the plumbing section. I use a 3 quarter inch galvanized steel pipe nipple as the handle and as the base for the rest of the tool. You can use a length of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 inches for that handle. The longer the handle is, the longer the lever arm will be. So if it's a longer handle and you're holding towards the end of the handle, it will make the whole thing feel effectively heavier to your wrists. But in the end, it's not the length, it's how you use it. So if you're holding up closer to the middle of the handle, that would shorten the lever arm. So just find the, a length that you find helpful for you and you can always go back to the store and buy a longer one or a shorter one if you find that your preference is different. After that, you just need an end cap for the three quarter inch size. You'll need a reducer that goes one and a half inch to the three quarter inch. You'll need a piece of nipple that is of the one and a half inch diameter and somewhere around two inches, one and a half to two and a half inches in length is fine. Um, it kind of depends on what plates you're using. I find that probably around two and two and a half is what I'm using in this video for the length works pretty well. Uh, and then you need the end cap that goes on top of all that. Putting everything together is pretty simple. Put down some newspaper or paper towels on your work surface and put everything out in front of you. You'll want to have some paper towels handy so you can wipe down each of the parts when you take them out of their pouches. They can sometimes be oily and greasy and you don't want that for your wrist exercises. Once you have them all clean and ready to go, you just screw each of the pieces together. It would be pretty much impossible to do this incorrectly. Everything only fits in one way. So you take that longer handle that you're gonna use, that galvanized nipple, you're gonna take the cap, that small one that fits onto it, and just screw it on. Then you're gonna take that reducer, which is the one that allows for the smaller nipple to go to the larger nipple and you're going to screw that onto the other end. So now you have the base of your handle complete. Then you take that larger nipple and you thread that in there and then you take the top cap, the wider cap, and just put that right on top. 
and you're basically done. If you want to put weight onto this, all you need to do is remove the top cap and then put a weight on there. So any standard uh, Olympic size plate will work. So like a five or a 10 with an Olympic two inch hole will fit around that galvanized nipple. To make this tool more user friendly so you can change out the weight underneath that end cap, you're going to want to use some thread locker. Just apply the thread locker to the connection points around the reducer. So you want to put that on the inside of both uh, ends of the reducer and then also on the end of the handle that connects to the reducer and also to that wider nipple that connects to the reducer. By making sure those areas are locked down, you'll ensure that only the top cap spins open when you want to open it and put on a different weight. When you start adding weight to your stick grenade, make sure you start light. Two and a half pounds is the maximum you should start with, especially if you've never done anything like this. If you're a stronger guy or gal and you know your forearms can take more, then gradually increase the weight with slightly heavier plates or even fractional half and one pound plates if you have access to them. Now you've got your own World War I style stick grenade or Stielhandgranate so you can build wrist strength or maybe throw this through a window. Don't throw it through a window. I said don't throw it through a window. Um, if you throw it through a window, it's on you. Now you can build lots of good wrist strength with this and by doing this exercise with other wrist exercises that you'll find in the description box, you'll be able to build up comfort, control, and confidence in your hands, wrists, and forearms. By doing all the things that I show on this channel, I've managed to get rid of this stupid wrist brace, these little wraps for my wrist when I'm doing exercise, and then even this helpful wrist widget which helped um, me with a little wrist instability that I had that I thought was a TFCC tear or a ligament tear in my wrist but that has resolved as I've gotten my wrists and my forearms under control and got my hand to be stable where I need it to be thanks to my steel hand granata stick grenade and my other wrist exercises that I learned from all kinds of different great people. So if you wanna check out those videos, check out the description box. I hope you found this helpful, and I hope your wrists and forearms start getting stronger from doing the exercises that you find on this channel. As always, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if you like the video, and remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't. Yeah.